Hi everyone, so today is going to be a quick uh, video on the Adobe uh, Free Collection. So uh, how it worked so far. Uh, so Adobe nominated um, images, vectors, videos uh, and illustrations uh, from different contributors and uh, if the contributors uh, agreed with the nomination, the image, the assets were included into the free collection and the uh, contributors were paid uh, for the assets. Uh, so to me, for me, as I didn't have any vectors or videos in my uh, portfolio before I started with AI so for me it was always photos and illustrations that were nominated and for uh, these kind of assets uh, they will pay you five dollars per image I think uh, vectors probably would be the same and then videos are probably more expensive and uh, so they would, for example, now, right, I have some nominated images now, uh, it's like ab about 400 images, and so I am theoretically eligible to get $2,000 for those images, so $5 per image, and now I have an option to pick if I want to keep all the images that they chose nominated or I can, you know, choose not to nominate some images. And then, so it happened for a couple of years now. So what happens is, at least for me, um, they didn't accept all of the nominated images into the collection, but it was always around, let's say like 10% were accepted and then you got the money and then those images are then free for one year and then the next year if they nominate them again then and choose them then you'll get like another five dollars and they will be free for another year and if the images are not picked again then they will come back to your regular portfolio and uh, they will be selling on a regular basis also uh, the downloads that were made for your free images doesn't don't count to your regular download so you don't know how many times your free images were um, download it or bought and so and as of now they do not accept ai and uh, of course <laughs> no one knows you know if they will do it in the future or not um i guess we'll have to wait and see this year personally i don't think that they will nominate AI but you know I could be wrong so for now it's uh, not AI for now it's the first wave and it's the regular photos um, it, you know s somebody uh, uh, was like asking uh, you know like is it worth it to um, upload to uh, put your images to the free collection you know you'll like only get five dollars your image uh, can be potentially uh, downloaded for more than that so they do not pick your like absolute bestsellers the rule is that in the last year the image has between like one and four downloads and then it is eligible potentially for the uh, free collection so of course uh, 
one and between one and four downloads can have some new images with good potential so that's why you know you have an option to uh, not nominate some of the images but to me like when it started i was like picking what i nominate and what i don't but now i just let it take all they want and nominate everything and uh you know any extra money is good money to me and yeah so this is basically it so ai is not available for now so if you only have ai in your portfolio you wouldn't even know about the free collection because there is no banner with your you know nominated assets but you know in case they change their mind and do nominate ai so this is a video for you and hopefully it helps you decide uh, what to do and if if uh, use this option uh, or not and of course if you google you know adobe free collection there is a uh, an article about it from Adobe where they explain in detail why they do it, how they select it and so on. So, so yeah, so that is it uh, from me. And uh, as always, I will see you very soon.